news, my lovely, wonderful people. The Presidential Tribunal. Don't be used by politicians or Hanyezes beg Nigerian youths. Please be mindful. Don't come out and fight another man's battle. Get yourself in arm's way. These people know how they look after themselves. Be very, very careful. I think that's a very serious warning. And as they will say, a word is enough for the wise. So please don't allow yourself. I will say it again and again. During the election, we will be big on that. Apple Line Media will continue to, you know, to continue to, uh, you know, plead and beg with you and tell you, don't allow anyone to use you. Their children, their children are abroad. Yes, their children, I say it again, are abroad. But they want to use you. Yes, they want to use you. Please be careful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Presidential Tribunal. Don't be used by politicians. Ohanyez is big Nigerian youth. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohanyez is in the boost, Youth Council Worldwide, has appealed to Nigerian youths to resist the temptation of being used to cause chaos in the country. The advice came as the nation awaits with anxiety the judgment of the Presidential Election Tribunal today, Wednesday, 6th September 2023. Tension is high across the country with spare increasing fear that there could be protests should the judgment go against the expectation of certain persons. So supporters of the People's Democratic Party and that of the Labour Party wants the tribunal to sack President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, but for, but for Tinubu's all-progressive Congress APC members, his victory was well-deserved and should be affirmed as Nigerian's president. In a statement made available to journalists on Tuesday, the, na the National President of the Ohanese's Youth Council, Mazi Oke, pleaded with the youths not to allow themselves to be used by anyone. Okay, said uh, we are indications that politicians would recruit youths as usual to protest the outcome of the judgment. We, however, advise youth across the country to resist the temptation. It is only in time with this that politicians remember, it's only times like this that politicians remember the youths once they get what they want, they forget you. So don't allow yourself to be used at all. No youth should make themselves a willing tool in the hands of selfish, deprived, and desperate politicians who wants to use you, but not their children. He further reminded the youth that the appeal court was still a first instance, stressing that whatever the outcome will be, there is still the Supreme Court. We, however, appeal to security agencies not to be hostile to the people. Nigeria today needs a lot of our citizens to do the right thing. So this is what is happening. A judge, uh, an appeal has come and the plea continues to go on that Nigerian youths should not allow themselves to be used by anyone. The Tension is high. The judgment continue to go on and everybody is looking forward to this day. So we cannot um, allow people who have no interest at all, okay, who have no interest at all for protection of lives and property to be the ones who will determine what happens to you. Most of them are really sincerely looking out for themselves. You are not in the picture if that's what you think. You're not in the picture. If that is your thought, you are making a huge mistake. So don't get it twisted at all that they are thinking about you. You are part of their uh, preparation. They are looking forward to ensuring that you live your life and all that. Please be careful. You know, think, please be very careful. Okay. Uh -huh. So we just need to ensure that every single person with all that is going on, Nigerians are not left in the hands of those who do not care for us. This nation sincerely truly needs people who are sincere, who are dedicated, and who will help transform this nation. Let's not allow 
Okay, let's not allow self certain selfish individuals to be the ones that will determine what will happen to us. This nation belongs to every one of us. Okay, so we must be very careful. We must be very, very careful. So Nigerians, the, like they will say, the ball is in our courts. As the judgment goes today, be wise. Okay, be wise. Be full of wisdom. Be very wise. Okay, let's be wise. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an advice. Be full of wisdom so that nobody uses you and dump you like a pack of cards. That's what they are good at doing. They use you, then they dump you. And their children are doing very well. So Haniese is in the books, is advising Nigerians if there is any time where the nation needs a real, you know, a, a real set of people who will help this nation to become better, this is the time. And guess what? You are one of such people. You are one of such people. Okay? You are one of such people who can truly make a transformation, a real transformation in this country. There is tight security now in Abuja and all over the places. So don't let allow anyone to use you as their scapegoat. And then they continue. They forget that you ever even existed. They forget totally, completely. So don't allow yourself to be used by anyone at all. In the of all their names are, don't allow them to use you at all. Don't allow them. No matter what their names, you know, whatever, whatever name they, they call themselves, don't allow yourself to be used. Please, please, pity your parents. Pity yourself. Even if you will not pity your parents, pity yourself. If they put you for police station, they beat you, better beat you. You will not believe what will happen. You'll be, you'll, you see, you'll be amazed. You'll be shocked beyond words. You'll be surprised. And guess what? The politician don't even know your name. So let's not even go to that route at all. They don't even know that you exist. They don't know. They don't know, to be quite candid. They don't know even whether you even exist. So please, a word they say is enough for the wise. Become very wise. Become very, very wise. Okay? Become very, very wise. Because the days upon us are very critical. And whatever you reap, like they say, you will sow. Don't go and reap, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> protest. So. Uh -huh. If we're going for a peaceful protest, we know that in this nation there is nothing called a peaceful protest because the government of this nation has totally, you know, they want to close the mouth of the people. So please don't let yourself be deceived. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Remember, you are important in all of this. Bye-bye.